Hey guys, how you doing today? Sean here. Well, I got a package in the mail today. I already did the unboxing because I couldn't do it one-handed and uh, my cameraman, he's in school. So uh, it's a beautiful day out. It's nice and sunny, clear skies. Looks like we got a guy across the river there getting ready to do a little fishing. But uh, all is good. I got my uh, fire pit and area cleaned up yesterday. Got some more brush hauled up for burning. So uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead in here and show you what I ordered in. Now, uh, the guy I ordered this from is uh, Bob the Mountain Man. I'll put his link down below for you guys. Um, he's a pretty good guy. He's got some pretty decent prices. So uh, I'm going to recommend that uh, people go check him out. Um, honest, you know, he's just a guy trying to make a few extra bucks and uh, he's selling, from what I can tell, pretty decent product. So uh, let's get started here, guys. Okay, uh, the first thing I ordered was, well, originally all I had ordered was one large ferro rod and a uh, uh, card knife, a little survival tool. And um, he was generous enough to include a bunch of stuff for uh, both me and my son. So uh, both my son and I, we both have a uh, card knife, uh, ferro rods, and then he also uh, makes char cloth and he sent us up some of that. So that's really wonderful. And, uh, thank you, Bob. You didn't have to do that, man. But uh, I sure do appreciate it. So uh, anyway, these uh, these card knives are, are, are pretty nice. They're uh, pretty heavy duty stainless here, but you've got the uh, um, can opener, uh, bottle cap opener, you got a knife here, you've got a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver there. Um, these, this is a wrench. Uh, you got a saw back here. I'm not quite sure what to use that for, that slot, but uh, and then that could be uh, another wrench there. And this I have no idea. I'm thinking maybe uh, I could make some kind of natural compass out of that by placing that on the ground and, and putting a stick in there or I could use it as a uh, like a sundial of sorts. So these are going to come in pretty handy. Um, good quality. They're heavy duty. Let's see how sharp that is. So yeah, there's a nice little edge on there guys. It's not perfect. I mean it's just it's a tool you know but I'm sure that that'll take a pretty decent edge. We'll have to try that out. Okay, and then these uh, ferro rods, guys. Now, this ferro rod is about three and a half. I'm just guessing by the size of my hand here. Um, the ferro rod's got to be, man, I'm guessing three and a half, three and a half, three and three quarter inches long. I'll have to measure it to make sure, but uh, pretty nice. And it's got a different style handle on it, which I like. I can actually grab onto that decent. Um, I did try them out. The uh, the scraper for the big frail rod, well, it's really not much anything. Uh, it does work once you get past the coating on it, but I did use the, the uh, scraper for the um, small frail rod. And as you can see, it's got like grooves and it's got a nice sharp edge back here so that helps out a lot these right here uh, there's a nice little edge there but it just doesn't quite seem to be enough so I think what I'll do is I'll take a file or and file that down a little bit to make a nice nice 90 degree edge on that and it should work a whole lot better but as with most frail rods you buy nowadays you get cheap stamp steel uh, scrapers and they just don't work very well so um, I like these because they got a handle on them and uh, you betcha. So, then you know, my son got some too. I tried them all out. They all worked very, very well. And if I could give you a little demo here, I would, but I can't do it one handed. So, I think it's time to build me a little camera stand for my phone. All right, guys, here you go. Let me know what you think. And uh, thank you, Bob. I sure do appreciate it. And we're going to get some fire started here <laughs> pretty soon. I, in fact, I'm thinking maybe tonight down there. So, that'll be good. Okay, guys. I got to get to the post office. I got about 20, 25 packages to uh, get shipped out. Um, a couple of them are late, and I'm really sorry about that. I apologize, um, but this is uh, this has been a good thing. I, I've been really busy with FIDS and, and my stoves and a couple other products that I've been selling, and um, I sure do appreciate it, everyone. 
And uh, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now. So uh, big thanks to everyone. Very much appreciated. Okay, guys, we'll talk to you later. And uh, thanks again, Bob. I'll put your link down below. You guys make sure you go check them out. Later.